Hello, gamers. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Whatever that means. Oh my god, Astarion. I have guests. I'm so sorry for him. Welcome in the Baldur's Gate 3 DLSS Club Optimization Guide. Our goal is to squeeze maximum graphical quality with a good performance using DLTSR and DLSS combo. You will also find you how to diminish stuttering effect and CPU bottleneck in the third act of this beautiful game. Our guide is mostly directed for users of RTX cards, but the Baldur's Gate is an unusual case where pretty much all, even the oldest RTX cards like 2060 can run it maxed out in terms of details and 60fps. I prepared version of settings for older GPUs which you can find later in this video. Let's start. First thing that we have to do is to update our DLSS file, because version even in the newest patch is very outdated. Newest DLSS not only looks and performs better, but will also allow us to use DLSS presets. And for that, we have to download and install additionally a small tool, DLSS Tweaks. How to update and install both you can learn from my tiny collective guide that you can find in the description of this video. It also includes instructions how to turn on and use DLDSR, which is very important for this guide. Now when we are ready with the basics, let's take a look over presets of DLSS. I personally use preset F. Differences in Baldur's Gates are minor, but F is considered as one of the best presets in terms of ghosting, image stability and quality. Let's talk a little bit about settings for RTX cards. These are pretty much ultra settings with 2.25 DLDSR multiplier. And please remember that if you have 1440p or bigger monitor, use 1.78 DLDSR multiplier instead, unless you have some extremely powerful GPU. If your RTX GPU have only 6GB of VRAM, lower your texture level from ultra to high to keep gain in the VRAM budget. Generally, for the owners of RTX cards, first two acts of the Baldur's Gate should be mainly GPU heavy. But third act is changing everything. It includes so much NPC and scene scale that many of us with a bit older CPU starts to suffer unpleasant for perception inconsistencies in frame time which ruins the frame pacing. Stuttering is most noticeable while moving camera fast over crowded places, which forces our CPU to prepare fast new assets while already being heavily loaded with preparations of frames for our GPU. I was trying many things to address this problem. I was testing influence of selected graphical settings to potentially deload CPU from certain tasks. I was trying to find an option in the game files which would reduce the quantity of the crowds in the cities. But sadly Larian did not include that option for that. I was also trying to change Baldur's process priority for CPU. I was trying Vulkan API instead of DirectX and nothing. The only thing that really helped was to reduce maximum frame rate for the game by putting a FPS limit in the game options. Side note, it doesn't have to be FPS log from the game options. It's just easiest to set up. You can also use for example Riva Tuner. Every CPU have its own limit of frames that is capable of preparing for our graphical card. To check what's yours maximum frame rate in CPU bottleneck scenario, go to the crowded place and simply disable any kind of vertical synchronization. Now change your graphical preset and DLSS mode to the lowest possible. It will deload GPU and put more pressure on our CPU. Make sure that you are in the CPU bottleneck scenario by checking your GPU usage. Check your frame rate without moving camera and now cut the result by around 40%. Then set up result as a maximum locked frame rate. For my CPU, rise and 5, 5600x sweet spot is around 50 fps. Just remember to put all options back that will give our CPUs headroom of computing power and significantly smooth out frame pacing. For the majority of the CPUs this value will be around 40 to 60. 
I am aware that 50 FPS or lower is not optimal, but it's better to have even lower FPS but smooth free of stuttering frame time. This trick will help you to go through Act 3 with decent comfort without constant hiccups. I was reading posts on Reddit where people reported that gissing and freezing can help too, but it will help only with the perception of hiccups. Not that FPS drops resulted from CPU being overloaded with tasks. If your display supports freezing or gissing, I recommend it combining it with the FPS limit too. You can turn them on in NVIDIA and AMD control panels. Finally, it's a time for non-RTX card settings. These settings don't go above 4GB of VRAM, it's just because of recording I'm exceeding this limit on the footage that you will see. If your video card is having 6 or more gigabytes of VRAM, please change textures to high. I was tryharding while exchanging details to achieve two goals. Sustaining quite decent resolution with upscaling, this time with FSR 2.2 on quality mode. It's looking for sure better than native 1080p even though internal resolution is only 960p. Second goal was to include for all cost graphical effects which give a lot of depth to game scenes, like for example ambient occlusion. And here you can see how non-RTX card settings perform and look compared to 1080p with in-game Ultra preset. This way we've come to the end of this small journey. I hope this guide will enhance your experience in Baldur's Gate. Please consider subscribing this channel and checking my other videos. Have fun and see you soon!